This is the third edition of the Life Sciences Forum organized by CINDE, the Costa Rica Investment Promotion Agency. Well, it's only natural for Costa Rica to be hosting this Life Sciences Forum. Costa Rica has uh, become the second largest exporter of medical devices in Latin America. We have a cluster now of almost 70 companies between uh, OEMs and suppliers. And we're looking forward at what the next stage or the next generation for Costa Rica is in terms of life sciences. And we think that forums like this one help us make the right decisions as a country to move forward in that direction. Well, the Life Science Forum is the biggest event of the year in Costa Rica for the medical device life sciences sector. And uh, we, uh, I'm with Merrill's Packaging, and we've been in uh, Costa Rica since 2011. And uh, we, we, we actually made the decision to come here in 2009, and we've been manufacturing since 2011. And uh, the big OEMs in the sector are our customers. So we look forward to meeting them here at the forum and then also learning in general about the medical device industry and the direction of, the of everything that can happen in the industry. When I look at it and I see all of the different pieces of talent that have come to the table from diagnostics companies, from pharma companies, from device companies, um, the fact that you brought them all into one room at a senior executive level to talk about innovation in our industry has been phenomenal. Uh, well, I've been coming here for uh, a couple years now and we'd just uh, like to learn more about uh, the business opportunities down here. We do a lot of business down here in the area right now and uh, are uh, and constantly you know, look at the opportunities to uh, develop uh, and set up operations down here. It's an incredible workforce. I mean, I, 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 the great people here, great people to work with, a, a very, very energetic and uh, very enthusiastic workforce. Developing R&D operations, uh, it's a, an evolution uh, in the maturity curve of the companies. Uh, you have to first uh, establish your core manufacturing operations and then you have the possibility to expand uh, to, to these areas, which has been uh, Boston Scientific experience. Uh, we already have in the country more than 60 uh, R&D related positions that have grown you know, after 12 years of, of presence in, in the country. So I think we do have the elements necessary to keep on evolving onto those uh, new fields. But uh, as, a, as a sector, as a cluster, we need to be, uh, we, we need to continue investing in, uh, like I said, in the human capital. Mm -hmm.